It's all love. But anyway, but coming back to the new shit now. Yeah. Wait, nah, we can't. Nah, we we gonna get to the new shit, but we can't skip over. Okay, which one? Uh, the zero and, and looking oh, good. Yeah. Nah, we oh, can't skip over up, that. Yeah, up, yeah we can't. Yeah. So let's talk about that. All right, now let me tell you why I know about Kiki for the first time. Okay. I'm gonna get in. This, this is something. Let me tell you why I know Kiki for the first time. Kiki was signed to Jam Down. Yeah. Jam Down was owned by a Trinidadian guy. Okay. Right? That was in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was, you know, I was out, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So that's how we, we get to know Kiki because everybody in the island community knew, oh, it's an island dude on that label. Like yeah. That a lot. But I really met him also when we used to pick up checks at Robert Gilliman. Southwest Wholesale. Southwest Wholesale, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because after I left Cash Money, I started my own label. You dropped the Excuse Me album. Uh, Excuse Me album. Yeah, 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 I dropped the Excuse Me album. Yeah. That's one of my biggest years, man. That was like one of some of the most money I ever seen in my life that yeah, fast. Yeah, I can so, imagine. I mean, you coming off Cash Money, No Limit. Man, that's what you I'm got saying. The zero I was record. that guy. You got the, yeah, yeah, I was that guy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, so I, you know, so um, what was I? I'll tell you about it. We're talking about Kiki. By, by Kiki, yeah. So, of course, we all used to meet up at Southwest Wholesale, bro. Yeah. You know, back then. We used to have even um, Slim. Yeah. Um, not Slim. Who, who, um, who used to be up there? Yeah, Slim. Um, um, uh, Lil Troy. Yeah. Um, Slim, Lil Troy. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, Tell you all the people, we always used to meet up up there. Cash money used to come through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They used to, they used to come. That was before. No, that was before. That was before. I'm talking about, that's way after I'm talking about now. Right. Um, but they still used to come through, though. Yeah. Yeah, they used to still come through. I think they Nah. They were already nah. They had nah. already done the universal nah, thing. Universal. Yeah. Nah, they yeah. Nah, they didn't come. That was what I was trying to get in my thought. Yeah. Nah. Is all the the the, the wasness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now nah, everybody was like coming through. Was, yeah, everybody yeah. was coming through. Yeah. yeah. So basically, what I'm saying, South Park, Mexican, and all that. Yeah, that's yeah. where we all really like got yeah. close to each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? We all like for, was from Houston, but we all really got super close to each other when we used to meet up. In hey yeah. man, you got your check already? Yeah. Man, he bullshitting today, man. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So we all just got a bond, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. The whole Houston scene had a good bond. All the guys with the labels and, you know. Yeah. And we just used to do our thing. Yeah. You know. We do so, our thing. So that's how you do it. Okay, now before we, before we go to the new stuff, because we didn't talk about this, with the Juvenile, you was telling me it was a record that you actually wrote, uh, but wasn't... No, well, well, what it is, like I said, is a um, the influence. You know the the monkey see, monkey do, and all that, and then you know the up, up until, until then, then was, yeah, 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 yeah. at the end of the day, it's all influencing each other. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like I said, I ain't going around and say, hey, I did. That. Yeah. At the end of the day, like I said, I was a team player, yeah. so we influence each other. Yeah. So I say, hey man, you could do like this, or hey, he said, hey, Ru, let me hear that. That shot sound dope. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, let me. Yeah. Just so speaking off each other. Off yeah. Each yeah. Other, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. we go to, so we go into the new stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, just in recent years, I know you was on a deeply rooted album. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Still yeah. doing stuff with Face. Still classic yeah. with Face. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You had the record with Ross. Uh, yeah, some years back, put it in. Yeah. Put it in. Talk about how you, how y'all got that, uh, how you got that relationship. We got with that Ross? record put together. Yeah. Man, I used to, <clears throat> I used to. Me and Ross used to be at the same barber. Hmm. In Houston. See how life is. Huh. To, in Houston, when he was signed to Draper. That's why I was going to ask if this was back then. When he was signed to Draper. Huh. Okay. You know so I mean? Ross was on Suave House at one point. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's Didn't why his this. music is still kind of got that. Got that feel yes. to it. Yes. Okay. Now it makes sense. Okay. Exactly. So, yeah. um, you know, big ups to Draper. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so, so, so we met up like that. And then we had this cat, Wetherspoon. Remember? Clarence Weatherspoon. Yeah. Who you play basketball? Yeah, yeah. Clarence Weatherspoon. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, he had a group who had a big record back then. Hmm. See, I don't know that. Anyway, uh, we had, he had a big record back, back then. And then he called me to help him with a record. And then um, I, got a, uh, I got on a record. Then he got Ross on the record. Right? Yeah. And then was the. We already had the relationship. Yeah. 
you see how yeah. everything yeah. was easy. Yeah. It was just like when it was, oh, rule? Yeah. Okay. So it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Hey, the video, hey, when I'm in town, boom, 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 boom. That's when he was a beamer, beamer guy. Yeah. Big beamer. You know what yeah. I mean? The, which one? The second was the first, first after the first, going on the second album. Yeah. Yeah. I think something like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. So that that that's that's really the rundown on that right there, man. Yeah, I didn't okay. run through history lane right there. Right quick, yeah, man. yeah. So so we so we here now, you know. Yeah, so we here now, man. And I mean, it, it, even just I mean, is there anything you want to just say before we we get out of here too soon? Because I know it was just interesting to me that you were saying like you never you know been on Tonight Seven Nine or did any radio interviews. Nah, nah, I never really. And you've been I, in the game, you know. what I'm saying yeah. twenty five, you know, going well, on thirty years. Well, so. I'm involved in over forty million sales and counting. You know yeah. what I mean? And you know. <clears throat> at the end of the day, I, I never pushed myself to be with the in crowd. Yeah. You know, you know, always um, a respectable guy, you know what I mean? I, 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 I give you the same energy you give me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. um, I never had any issues, you know what I mean? I wouldn't have any issues because people make life hard. Right. You know what I'm saying? Life ain't really that hard, bro. People make it hard. You know, society make it hard. Niggas, niggas on that bullshit make it hard, you know what I mean? So, uh, so at the end of the day, go ahead, take your time. I'm gonna tell you something powerful right there too, man. Yeah, what I was saying about not trying to be with the in crowd and the whole nine. You know what I mean? I just basically knew that I cultivated a sound that's on you. You can't duplicate it. I don't care what you do. I was even before Akon. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I was even before Akon. It's just that the bottom line is um, I was probably before my time. Um, they, they weren't ready for that yet. Yeah, timing is. You see uh, what I'm saying? Right. Timing is all what it is. You know what I'm saying? They probably wasn't ready for that yet. So, um, you know, I just basically take it as like fine wine, man. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about staying healthy. It's all about staying relevant. It's all about staying consistent. I still produce a whole lot of records that, you know, you probably heard people, in, you know what I mean? Yeah. I produce a lot of records. Um, like I said, I've been making this new project for the past three years because I'm just that hard on myself. Right. Because I used to hear, oh, yeah, Rui, you just be doing hooks and stuff, man. And Rui, da, 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 you feel me? Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know what? I'm just going to show you that I was just allowing you to do what you do. Yeah. But I'm gonna go and do what you do and do what I do at the same time. I do it all. Right. You feel me? Yeah. Right. You said you want to do. Okay. I'm gonna just let y'all hear it all. Then I'm gonna just go and let it out. Then. Yeah. So this this whole new album, man, I let I let my wings out. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know I'm on there. I'm telling my story. You know what I'm saying? Good mu back to good music. You know, and um, I'm one of the island guys that try to keep. My sound is just weird. Man. I can't even call it, it ain't even yeah. rap, it ain't reggae, it ain't hip hop. It's just call it rule. Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's what I was gonna ask you because I know you were saying your your earlier influences like your LLs, your your Dougie Freshes, your your Slick Ricks. But I was wondering if you also had a uh, dance hall influence because I hear it in your music yeah. somewhat like in your phone, but I'm trying to figure like who were the ones you were listening to. Steel Pulse and Gregory Isaac. Okay. Yeah, my mom had me on Steel Pulse early, man. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Steel Pulse. They had the um. What's that? The radio joint. Steel Pulse. My shoes. I've been my radio. Yeah. Women out at large. And he's smoking. And, 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 you can, and, and, and you can hear that influence in your, in your music. Yeah. And that's what I was trying to get, get to. Get out. Okay. Right. That's what it is. I can't go on. No. <laughs> right. hey. Can we do that one, huh? Yeah. 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 The track yeah. Album, we sing it. Yeah. Hey. That yeah. might be something. No, seriously. This guy jumped. Up no, that is something. Y'all might want to this guy in his flashy car. Needed some help. Said he lost his way. Yeah. To find some street. Say he wanted instructions, so mm. I turned down the music to give him directions. Guess what? This guy jumped on me, mm. messed up mm. my clothes, grabbed mm. and snatched my radio. So I'm calling all detectives. Yeah. Tell them a jacker is at large. Yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah. the roots right there. Classic, I mean? man. And yeah. I basically sound exactly like my records, too. 
facts. Right? Yeah, yeah, you do. It's a fact. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm talking about the tone, the whole nine, the fluctuation, the whole nine. Everything. You know what I'm saying only even, even as simple as the yeah, yeah. He can't yeah. hit that motherfucker sound just like the record. I was waiting for no, zero man. or something to start rapping. I'm like, even oh the, shit. The, <laughs> the roll he on me recite on me respond. 20 inch rims on me suspension. Yeah. For when we play and not Ford Mustang. Just every day in <laughs> late this fashion. Hey, we gotta, we, hey, we gotta get yeah. hey, I gotta yeah. get, hey, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, Tell classics. You, screw, I want to say before, you know what? Go ahead. I gotta say big ups to Screw again, bro. Yeah. Because Screw, I was actually, I used to be in the room with him. Yeah. At Digital Services when he mastering it. No shit. Yeah, I never used to be with them boys recording it. Yeah. But I used to be when he used to be mastering it. At uh, he's Digital Services again. Jimmy yeah. Rock. Yeah. That's where all the everybody Jesse talks Child, about di- yeah, little yeah, old yeah, all of us um, over there. So, um, so what I'm saying, screw yeah, but screw yeah. So we we in that um, you know back when he was master and he was able to screw up my diamonds and pearls. So I made one of his screw tapes. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. So that's legendary. Yeah, I got one of my initial songs on my yeah. first album yeah. on an original screw tape, man. Yeah, with yeah. me and Kiki. Yeah. Diamonds yeah. and pearls. Yeah, yeah. I did a video, man. Look, I, man, I spent about fifty grand. Man, I was spent. Listen, back at rhythms. Back then. Rhythms, yeah. Danny, yeah. Like rhythms. Yeah. The first big budget. I'm talking about with reels. I'm talking about they coming out with cranes and. Yeah. But that's right off the, off that cash money vibe. Right. That's what I said. I was made. I was, you know what I mean? That's right out on that time, man. I, club rhythms, huh? Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, but, but that's beautiful, bro. When you just look back. Right. When, you, when I sit and I look back, man. Yeah, no, nah, that Diamonds and Pearls is a classic, dime, man. Come on, bro. Jam, man. Yeah. yeah. And then Hawk, Hawk took it and did his, uh, yeah. hey, come down. Man, man, I, yeah. Hawk, I saw down. Hawk at um thing. I said, Hawk, how you going to do that to me, man? He yeah. said, Papa Rude, man. Come on, baby. Because <laughs> <laughs> he from Orleans and from over there, yeah, right? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I go back like that, yeah. But, yes. but yeah. it was all love, you know what I mean? It was yeah. all love. Like I said, it was all love. Me and little O yeah. got classics. Yeah. If I got a back steal on borrow to make it, it till tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. I yeah. got to do what I got to. Yeah. Because who's going to feed me? Yeah. Big ups to little old, man. You Classic. already know. Yeah, Let man. me see who else. Big Pokey. Um, nine times out of ten. Yeah. Nine times out, out of ten. ten. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Who else we got, man? Who else we got? I'm just trying to run down the city right quick. Scarface. Of course. Beep, beep goes the sound of my sailor. Yeah. It's the life of a hustler. hustler. Yeah. Yeah. And you got that... Um, that's why I stay rooted. Deeply rooted. Yeah, that's deeply rooted. And then um, yeah. dope man pushing. Dope Reaching man. out in my pocket. I don't feel my paper stack on my 45. I will. Yeah. yeah. Is there an artist that you worked with and you was like, like, wow, like, how did I get here? Like, like, mm. how did this even, like, a, a connection that you would have been like, wow, how did this even happen? Honestly, though, I'm mean, going to be totally honest with you. I never felt that way. I never felt like, I oh. It's weird. I never not, not even start just like it, maybe it wasn't even being a, a like safe in somebody because you do so many kinds of you know work with so many different kinds of people. So mm. maybe somebody or that, somebody I get close to. Yeah, you, know, you might not even thought you would have you know worked with because of maybe the kind of music you end okay, up working um, with them. Like how did this happen? You know what? Because reading it say you know you worked with a lot of people and I ran across and it says some like Solange and then I'm sitting there looking Solange, like yeah yeah okay how does that happen oh okay with, with the Solange situation I was managed by Matthew at one time okay right and he had a situation with um with 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 um with Sony um. Me and Ray J was on the same label at one time. Oh, okay. No, yeah. shit. Now we're getting somewhere. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, me and Ray J was on the same label at one time. No, right? shit. Me and Ray J was on the same label. Um, Sanctuary. Okay. Sanctuary. That's okay. the label. Yeah. We was on the label at one time. Um, De La Soul was on the same label. Ray J, De La Soul, and... Um, yeah, Ray J, De La... And the OJs, bro.